If you didn't get a chance to see Vin Diesel's new film Bloodshot in theaters when it was released two weeks ago, you are in luck because it is now available on streaming platforms to rent. So is the film worth your $20 or would you just be better off waiting for cable? Let's find out. Based on the Valiant comic book of the same name, Bloodshot finds Vin Diesel playing Ray Garrison, a special ops soldier who's just completed his latest mission and is now trying to spend some quality time with his wife. Unfortunately, both him and his wife are captured by terrorists and subsequently killed. Luckily for Ray, he's taken by an organization known as RST, led by Dr. Emile Harding, played by Guy Pearce. Their goal is to rebuild and enhance wounded soldiers, and in the case of Ray, they've infused his blood with nanotechnology, which allows him to heal instantaneously from any injury. That's gunshot wounds, knife wounds, explosions, you name it, he can heal from it. As Ray tries to make sense of all of this, he's compelled to seek revenge for the death of his wife, but not everything may be all that it seems, and it turns out that RST may have other plans for Ray that he's not privy to, and he needs to figure out if he's going to regain some sense of freedom from this organization. There are definitely a lot of good ideas in Bloodshot. I think you have some familiar tropes that you're obviously putting on display, but you're mashing them together and putting them in a blender and trying to come up with something a little bit different. And I feel like there are some points in the film where it actually succeeds, but for a lot of it, I feel like it's still a little too familiar and a little too paint by numbers, especially when your star is Vin Diesel. And I understand that this was a project that he went after and he wanted to do, and obviously he wanted to make another big franchise for himself, but I feel like that is one of the things that kind of undercuts the film because we're not really getting much of the character of Bloodshot so much as we are getting Vin Diesel in another action movie. And as good as some of the action is, especially when you see how they're pushing the PG-13 rating as far as blood and gore because there are definitely some scenes in there where He's getting shot up all to holy hell. He's getting his face blown off, and it's a great effect to see how the nano machines rebuild his body and everything. But the bottom line is, we don't really care about Bloodshot. And I don't think the film really does either. And obviously, there's supposed to be some ambiguity as far as what memories of his are actually real. But at the same time, you've got a lot of characters in here that are just evil for the sake of being evil. Um, you do have Isaac Gonzalez as KT, who plays one of the recipients of some of the cybernetic enhancements that RST is offering, who actually has a bit of a bond with Bloodshot. But beyond that, I feel like there's no one really trying to do anything all of that significant as far as their characters are concerned, and they're not particularly well written anyway, so it just feels like a bit of a waste. I like Vin Diesel in certain movies. I love the Fast and Furious franchise. I enjoy the Riddick films. But for something like this, where he's such a big personality and there's so much about him where he's pretty much just the same in every film, trying to have him play such a visually striking character is one thing because they didn't even really try like if you've seen the character of bloodshot you know what he looks like and that would have been great to see throughout the entirety of the film and for us not to get that is a bit of a disconnect and it's unfortunate because you have examples of films like you know from the mid 90s as far as comic book movies are concerned where they basically said okay if we have a popular enough actor we can kind of skip on certain elements from the comic book and you kind of saw it in Judge Dredd but even then they still had him in a phenomenal costume even though 
fans were mad about him taking off the mask. But you still had a large scope to that film. It felt big, it felt grand, and I feel like that's something that Bloodshot also fails at, where it feels too small, it feels too truncated. There's nothing really happening that we should feel like, oh my god, is this gonna, you know, kill a ton of people? Is there some evil plan that Bloodshot has to stop Emil Harding from carrying out? And there's really nothing there. There's just really some good action, but at the same time, not much else. The story development is weak, the character development is weak, and I think one of the bright spots in the film for me was probably the introduction of Toby Kemmel's character, which I thought was pretty funny and very reminiscent of his role in Rock and Rolla. And that was a nice bit of fun. You also have Lamorne Morris in there as someone who's very, you know, tech uh, driven and he's got a British accent and that's fun to see just because there's some levities or some comic relief in there but it's not enough to sustain the whole film and I feel like if you're thinking about spending $20 to rent this on streaming you should probably just go ahead and wait for cable or wait until it's available to rent on streaming because I don't feel like that there's much there and it's a shame because if this doesn't end up being a successful film, who knows what's going to happen with the other Valiant characters that they've been eyeing as far as adaptations for the big screen, because I feel like there are a lot of good characters there that I would definitely like to see, and it's just a shame if this kind of derails the whole train. Hey guys, thanks for watching as always. If you've got your own thoughts or opinions on the Bloodshot movie, you can go ahead and leave them in the comment section below. Don't forget to hit that like button, hit the notification bell, share this video with your friends and family, and if you'd like to keep up to date with more at random videos, you can do so by clicking the subscribe button right over here.